Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope all of you are doing well. In this video, I am going to start a new topic that is the protein translocation. What is this process? This is a cellular mechanism in which the proteins, the cellular proteins are transported or moved or simply they are translocated from the site of their manufacture. Listen to this statement. From site of manufacture that means the proteins are synthesized somewhere and they are moved from that place to their site of destination that is where they are destined to reach to have a better understanding of this statement we convert it into a question I ask you where proteins are synthesized we all know endoplasmic reticulum more importantly the rough part of the endoplasmic reticulum which is known as the uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum which is containing ribosomes the protein synthesis machinery ribosomes okay the, but the question still remains is that after the synthesis of these proteins are those proteins going to remain on this RER? The answer is no. If it is so, what we are going to do with these proteins, the newly synthesized proteins? To understand this, let's have a look on this map. This is the Indian map drawn on this board. Okay. We know India is divided into states. There are 29 to 30 states here. Here is Punjab in the north and we have in the west of India the Rajasthan. Then we have in the south of India Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. The important point here is that every state is uh, famous for something. Like Punjab is famous for the production of food uh, that is rice and wheat. Similarly Rajasthan is popular for something and that is the marble and granite. Similarly, in the south, the, uh, the south states are famous for, you must have heard about spices, okay. Although the goods which we are talking about are produced in the other areas of the country, but we assume that they are limited to these states only. You have to note here is that, for instance, we talk about Rajasthan, which is producing marble and granite, which are the marble and granite are found in Rajasthan, okay. Rajasthan is using for its own purpose these products but apart from that this state is also delivering these goods to other states of the country to the south states Punjab and the central India and the east India okay now we are going to compare this concept to cellular process of protein translocation. We take the example of Rajasthan. Rajasthan is famous for, for what? We know marble and granite. Here is our endoplasmic reticulum which is containing ribosomes. So this is RER. RER is doing what? It is meant for protein synthesis, right? So is Rajasthan keeping the products to itself only? No, we just discussed that. It is delivering to other states. So other states. Similarly, RER is not keeping the newly synthesized proteins to only RER but instead it is transporting those proteins to other organelles of the cell. Apart from this, the marble and granite is also exported out of the country to the neighboring countries 
Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, Bhutan, Nepal, Bangladesh, okay, and other foreign countries. So this is exported, we can say export to foreign countries. Here, the proteins are exported out of the cell to what? ECM, that is the extracellular matrix, the material which is present outside the cell. And also, these proteins are inserted in the plasma membrane. Now, there is a need to understand one more concept because this is important when we would be discussing about the uh, transport of these uh, proteins to uh, cellular organelles in detail in future videos. You must have heard about GST. This is a taxation system in India that is the global state tax but we are not interested in GST. Before GST in India there was entry tax. What is this entry tax? We are talking about Rajasthan here. We are still interested in Rajasthan. Okay. So when the Rajasthan government is interested in delivering its goods to Punjab, the Punjab government would employ an entry tax for the entry of those goods into this state okay similarly in this cell what's happening is that we have here aria the newly synthesized proteins say we are delivering those proteins to mitochondria okay for the entry of those proteins into this mitochondria there is a need of something and that is the use of ATP or GTP in the form of entries, entry tax. So ATP and GTP is used for the unidirectional transport of the proteins from RER to mitochondria or this is for instance that can be another organelle also. So now we know that proteins after their synthesis they are not confined to that parental body that is RER, but they are transported or delivered to their respective location that is the cellular organelle. Now we want to know that what are those locations? They are basically the ER itself, okay? And then we have mitochondria, Golgi bodies. chloroplast chloroplast cell membrane ecm lysosomes peroxisomes so now we know the basic meaning of this cellular process that is the protein translocation we must have the understanding of the different methods by which these proteins are translocated. So there are two methods. Okay, the first one is the signal based targeting. This targeting or we can say sorting or translocation these are all same things. Okay, then we have second is the vesicular translocation we first talk about the signal based targeting in simple terms this method involves the use of a signal sequence now what is this signal sequence suppose we have a protein which is synthesized on the er okay so this is that protein in this protein there is a signal sequence like here this signal sequence is nothing but a stretch of amino acid or a peptide sequence of amino acids which is 
specific you have to listen this specific for a particular receptor and that receptor is present on an organelle or a location where the protein is going to be sent or delivered okay we elaborate this suppose that uh, stretch of protein is having this sequence of glycine arginine aspartate uh, again lysine okay now this stretch of amino acid sequence is going to be recognized by a receptor which is present on mitochondria okay this sequence would not take its protein to in or to an organelle say peroxisome peroxisome which is not having its receptor you understand this concept this is very simple now you must know something more here this signal sequence a stretch of amino acids it can be present it can be present within or on the terminals of proteins so on the basis of these locations the sequ uh, the sequence if it is present on the terminals this is referred to as pre sequences and if it is present on the inside then it is referred to as internal sequence mostly this is located at the end terminal of the am uh, uh, this protein very rarely we find it on the inside of the protein so this was all about the introduction to this protein uh, translocation process in the future videos i would be coming up with the uh, detailed uh, explanation of the translocation of these proteins to different compartments or the cellular organelles okay i hope this would work and if you like my effort please subscribe to my channel thank you